What you're going to witness is something very special. It's the post-game analysis between Kostav Chatterjee and Pragnananda from the 8th round of Asian Championship 2022. The game is over, Prag has won it and they are analyzing without a chessboard. Look at how accurate Prag is.
what you saw Prag doing here was simply phenomenal. First of all, he found this variation that rook d2, you can go h4. And then when Kostov mentioned rook d3, he had seen this tactic of g4, hg4, h3, which he could recall blindfolded. Secondly, he said that it's better to take here, take here. But then when he played rook d3, he could also understand that just improving the king is winning for black completely here because white is paralyzed with bishop e5 f4. So it was just amazing bit of calculation here. The other calculation which I found was amazing was here he mentioned to Kostov that he should have taken not with the bishop after which he was slightly worse or maybe equalish but queen e4 with the idea of bishop f1 d3 and Prag thought for a long time here because the most natural move which is bishop e6 is creating some issues after bishop f1 queen b6 bishop d3 and now you can't go g6 because h6 is hanging but what Prag saw really well was that rook f e8 is an excellent move here and the point is after bishop f1 queen b6 bishop d3 now he first mentions that g6 is playable and it's very important to note here that bishop takes h6 fails to bishop g5 attacking the queen and the bishop so f5 is not a good move this also he accurately assessed as better for white clearly so this was brilliant bit of uh, analysis the other point one uh, point was here queen b5 they analyzed rook f6 gf6 which was also seen by Kostov here rook e8 queen f6 and Prag says he was not sure about this position uh, and that's the reason why to rook d6 he played rook c6 and which was right because queen e5 the position let's say something like bishop g7 take take is around equal this one um yeah, one more thing which I liked was in this position after rook c2, if I am not mistaken, Prag mentions check, king g2, rook b1, and after queen c6, there's a very small moment where Prag says queen f1 is possible, but after king f3, it's not so clear, he says. And that is true, the engines assess this position as equal. And finally, in the opening, he mentions to Kostov that instead of a3 that he played here, he should have tried knight c3, which is once again the best move. Uh, Kostov was not so sure about g5, but after knight d7, knight d7, bishop e3, as correctly pointed out, f5, Prag did think that this position was slightly dangerous for black. Uh, and all of Prag's assessments are actually the engines agree with it, which just goes to show how well this boy not only analyzes on the chessboard uh, while he's thinking but also assesses the positions it's simply off the charts